So the video I made the other day seemed to be fairly popular, so I thought I'd make another video. Uh, it's going to be quicker. I just want to uh, outline kind of how the prime pattern works. That's what I want the focus of this video to be. I'm also going to mention a little bit about this old lab sequencer as well. Um, but I think it it's worth explaining some of this because I think for me, I, we were using this one for so long. When this was released like a, uh, a month ago, I think it was. I almost said a year. It definitely wasn't a year. Uh, probably about a month ago that was released. It's like Christmas time, I think. I didn't really understand how these gate and these pulses worked. So I'll, I'll explain those in a minute. Um, and they are really useful. There's actually a, a hardware sequencer called the Metropolis, like a real bit of hardware. So if you Google that hardware um, Metropolis sequencer, just Google that and you will find that this layout looks very familiar to that um, and actually these gates work in exactly the same way um, this is this has basically got less features than the hardware one the hardware is one's got a few extra things in terms of scales and it's also got some interesting play patterns which i would really like to see on this i think it'd be really useful if we could uh, play a sequence forwards and backwards and if maybe we could bounce between and we could do randoms and stuff that'd be so cool but we'll get there in time i'm sure so Let's work with what we've got at the moment. So first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate, because I do like to demonstrate, is I'm going to demonstrate with this magical split. I'm going to take out of the four and I'm going to come out of this into this amp. And the only reason I'm doing this is so that you can hear what the click sounds like. This is the speed that we're going at, right? So if I take that same clock and I put it into here, would you expect this light to move at the same speed as this speaker? Well, you probably would expect that, wouldn't you? But then you'd be like, well, actually, look, what's going on? It's not at all. It's completely not at all. Now, the first thing to note is that when you make this original sequencer, it has a clock multiplier, and the def default value of that seems to be, uh, I don't know, but it's maybe twice as slow as the clock. So if we take it down, it seems like it then will pulse at the same speed. And you've got to bear in mind that on this speaker, you hear the up and the down. So if I slow it down, up, 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 down. So on the up is when that moves. Up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, and it, and it is in sync. My microphone's probably not, so it's going to throw you right off. But that's something I just wanted to show you. So if we then put that same clock into this one, on this one, it doesn't start straight away. You have to start it. You either press toggle or you send a message uh, or a pulse to the start or the restart. Um, so now these should be running at the same time. Are they actually in sync? They actually look like they are in sync, which is kind of amazing because I didn't expect them to be in sync. That's just a complete fluke. So if I was to then create and I'm just going to create some more speakers for this because it seems to be the best way to do it. Trigger out. And a note. You'll see that now we've got a nice bass drum coming through there. Let's create another one. And let's do a bass drum as well, but we'll do a different one. And we'll take this out of the trigger as well. So there you go. It, does, it, it, it hiccups a little bit when you first plug it in. So there's clearly like a bit of... But, but they, they appear to be in sync, don't they? Got a nice little beat going on actually pretty happy with that i might publish it so now let's add something else to the mix let's add this value so the, these value sliders they're gonna determine what comes out of here so if we do this value as the pitch so that then when we hit the first note of this sequence i want it to be a higher pitch hopefully you can hear that yeah and let's do the same on this one I don't know why I'm changing these colors, and I don't know why I'm putting that in there. So on, on this one, the value output is called pitch. But I think I heard that then. That sounded right. Let's turn that up, the range. So the, the range of these sliders is set with this range knob. So whether that's notes or a value of a cutoff or whatever, that's that's. if this is high at its highest point here, then this, this will be its highest point. This bass level will stay the same all the way through, as far as I'm aware. But if you turn that range down, that's going to affect this highest point. So you can, it's quite nice actually if you're doing like scales, if you're using like the minor scales. Um, I guess we'd probably want this on chromatic, but never mind. Um, yeah, if you're not using this for, um, you, you probably just want to use none if you're just using it for values. 
because otherwise I think it's going to step in a weird manner. But anyway, we're getting we're getting off topic. So um, so you can hear then, can't you? On the first pulse of that beat, it resets and it goes boop. Yeah. So now what I want to show you, and it's interesting because we managed to get those in sync just perfectly. If if I was going to um, create a trigger and you might use a trigger to reset a sequencer or something so you might go right okay these are gonna be my resets reset and restart and I I think these behaviors act differently because if I restart these what you'll notice is that this is now a head one beat so now the high pitch did you hear that let's do it one more time it's gonna go yeah, so it's going bloop, bloop. And I don't know why it does that. But look, if I keep resetting it, it doesn't, it's almost like the first note is always this one, not this one. And I think that's just the way that this sequencer works. But this one doesn't seem to have that behavior. So I, I, I think it's probably just the kind of bug, um, which I think I used to notice, but like I say, we don't really need this one that much anymore. But yeah, what you could do with that is you could just remedy that by putting that. And now we're in sync again. And actually if we change this, see we're in sync so even if we change to a faster one so yeah I don't I don't know why that is but it seems to be the case every time I've done it and I make uh, a lab sequence I have to put this as the first note otherwise I can't get it in sync with this one it's just how it is so let's delete that and let's create another pattern so what I want to do with this one is uh, yeah, let's leave that out for a second. So we'll do the four is going to be into here, right? Which is what we had before. But what I want to do is have this clock coming into here. I'm going to toggle that on. This is going to be my reset still. So that's going to reset both my sequences. And then I'm going to have a trigger coming out of this into here. So now we're back to where we were, right? What I'm going to do is change the pitch of that as well, just so that we can hear something. Nice beat, mate. So let's now put this one. If we now change these pulses on this one, now the reason I've done this is because although this is coming out the one, so this is getting four times as many pulses as this one, because I've set these pulses to only progress every four, these are actually now back to being at the same time again so you might be like well that's great well what's what's so great about that well the reason that that is great is that now if I change this one so the these pulses will affect kind of the timing of it I suppose so it's going to take four pulses for this to move on to the next one and so on so if I now change this gate mod from that first pulse to the second one and what this is is basically that is off this is one pulse and then the rest are blank this is multiple pulses so it'll do four pulses and then this one will do essentially like a sustained pulse for four pulses and the, we can have a look at that if we grab a amp the good old amp you can always see what's going on with an amp and it won't affect if you don't change this level it won't affect how that triggers that but you can see now look up 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 hold up 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 hold and so when it holds and this is something that i want to demonstrate because it definitely does this it actually let's just turn this one down for a second you see how it missed that first note and this is something i want to show you so if you if you set all of these to be whole notes 
as it were, like a sustained note. In my head, I always expected this to play a bass drum. Why, why is it not playing a bass drum? And my theory behind this, and, and like this is all purely observation for me, like I'm not particularly scientific when it comes to this stuff. I have no involvement in the development behind this. So all I try and do is every time a new module comes out, I kind of dissect it and just play around and plug everything in and go, this is how I expect it to work. Why is it not expecting like that, uh, working like that? And and this is something I've noticed. So the reason I think this happens is because this module wants you to trigger it like this. It wants one single poop, poop, like that. So actually I can manually trigger it by doing this, yeah? But if, if this is always sustained, so for every single pulse it's always up and it never comes down, then it never gets a chance to trigger the, the sample so actually if you're using drums it's better most of the time obviously rules are made to be broken it's better to use this single pulse one because that sends a single pulse and then for the rest of the pulses it's clear so it's just acting like a single note and then you can, through a combination of singles and this multiples I can't really tell if that's on or off now Okay, so that's now back to singles. So what you can do with this now is that you could set some of these to be kind of fun amounts, you know, like like you could set uh, all of these to be multiples, but they're still going to be in time because these multiples add up. They're still going to be in sync. It will only mess up if you start putting these to sort of different amounts. So if I start putting these up like this, now this sequence is going to be way off this sequence. But what you could do, because you know this sequence is kind of a steady amount, you could have the end of sequence be your restart for this one. And then, it doesn't matter where this one gets to, once it's done a full cycle of this, you'll see how it always goes back to that bloop note first. Yeah? So then you can do all sorts of weird stuff with all of this. Let's just change it all up. It's actually quite cool. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. So an another way you could do it is that you could have like a master sequence. So you could have this is the one last thing I'll show you. Is you, you could have um, you could have this be like your master sequence, you know, and you could have the clock coming in here. Um, and then at the end of that, maybe that could be your reset. So, so instead of instead of this being your reset, let's take this to be our reset. So at the end of that sequence, it's going to send a pulse. And then both of these are always going to be in sequence. But because this is longer, it's going to go through and now they're a bit out. So actually, what, what about if I take away these? Look. see how now it's only doing this occasionally it's doing something weird isn't it that seems more steady yeah, some, sometimes these pulses don't work exactly like you want them to work. And I think sometimes, that, especially if you're using splits, um, sometimes the signal is not going to get through quick enough to kind of allow the signal to get through to restart it. So if I, if I take that one off. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Because it's... It's like it's getting one of the restarts, but it's not getting all of them. But it does seem to be doing it in a in a pattern, so who knows? <laughs> like I say, a lot of this is just experimentation, I think, but it seems steady if I have two. Yeah. Okay, well, well anyway, I thought that I would show you that. Um, so... 
I don't think I'm going to upload this patch because it's not particularly exciting, is it? But come and have a play with this. So definitely play with the pulses and the gate mods because um, you can do some cool stuff with it. All right. Nice. See you later.